Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minitough, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Damage Indicator mod on your Mac. If you're looking for a PC tutorial, then the link is in the description. I've done one on that just very recently. So, let's go ahead and get on with the Mac version. You're going to need two things, the Minecraft Forge and the actual Damage Indicator mod itself. So, let's go ahead and download both. So make sure, before you do any of this, that you are on the right version of Minecraft. I'm going to keep updating the title of this video as newer versions come out. So I don't have to... I mean, why would I remake the video every single time? The process is exactly the same, guys. It's just... <laughs> it's a waste of time. So just... The, the process will be the same, whether you're doing this on 1.5.2 or 1.6.7. It, it doesn't matter. Just do it the same way. So first thing to do is download the actual Damage Indicator mod. And look at the title of the actual mod. Make sure it's for the current version of Minecraft you are running. So, just go ahead and wait for this, this thingy to go. Skip that ad. And we'll download that. And it says 152 there. And then you can either... Let's see. Where is it? Installation. You can go here. You can click here. Or you can just click my link in the description. And we'll take you to the latest version of Minecraft Forge. And go ahead and click latest. And click universal. And then it will take you through the ad fly link. Again. and voila almost there oh um, uh, there we go okay good now let's go ahead and let that thing download yeah you should be fast okay got that done now you should have the two files in the description damage indicator mod and the minecraft forge universal so with the forge universal you're going to want to unzip that so just go ahead and oh well, you can open it any way you want so you can go ahead and delete the actual zip file so all you want is let me put this over here so you can see that Minecraft Forge Universal and Damage Indicator Mod dot zip. You want this one to be a zip. I'll explain that later. And for this one, just open it up because we want the class files. So now we're going to go ahead and go to our Minecraft dot jaw. All right, guys, I want to make sh this clear that I would recommend doing this on a fresh version of Minecraft. So if you do this and it does not work, then I would recommend redoing it with a fresh Minecraft. Or you could start with a fresh Minecraft. And the way you do that is you open up your Minecraft, press force update, and then it will install correctly. Or if it will not let you force update, I've had this happen many times, delete your bin folder in your Minecraft folder. I'll go ahead and show you how to get to your Minecraft folder anyway because we need to get there to install the mod. So open up your finder and go up here to the go tab and then hold down the alt key if you're using a Windows keyboard or a option key, and it will t take you to library. So just see that. There you go. Click that. And then go into application support. And then Minecraft. And then go ahead and copy this and paste it to your desktop. This is a backup. If anything goes wrong, you can delete this folder and replace it with that one. So there you go. Now open up .minecraft, and here is your bin folder. So as I said before, if you get an error or you want to just completely wipe out your Minecraft, what you want to do, delete this bin folder. Open up Minecraft and you, you know, just load it, get to the main menu. It's going to re-download all this stuff and then your bin folder will be back and it'll be fresh just like you, just like you got Minecraft for the first time. So now to install the mod, we'll go ahead and open up the bin folder and Minecraft.jar. Click on that, press enter and you want to name it Minecraft.jar.zip and then press OK, use .zip and double click that puppy up. It will open and now you've got Minecraft.jar. You can delete the zip. And now you have minecraft.jar. All you have to do is open that up and type in meta inf. And it should take you to the meta inf folder. Delete that as well. And now go into Minecraft Forge Universal. Go in and do command A. Highlight everything and drag them into the minecraft.jar folder. Then you will get a pop-up that looks just like this. Apply to all. Replace. There you go. We've got Minecraft Forge Universal installed. Now start up Minecraft and it's going to download the updates. And then I'll meet you guys back here. Alright guys, I'm opening up my Minecraft, and you can see FML is setting up your Minecraft environment. This is actually the second time I've tried this. The first time, it just gave me an error and got stuck at 0%, so I don't know why that happened. But I just restarted Minecraft, and there we go. So now, we've got Minecraft Forge installed, and we can go ahead and quit the game. And we can go back, and you should see a mods folder that should be created in your Minecraft folder. And yeah, I've got a lot of stuff in here. Just look for the mods folder, and all you have to do is drag in the damage indicator mod.zip. And that's it. Now the mod is successfully installed. Make sure this is a zip though. Don't install it like that. You don't want a folder in here. You want the zip. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to open up Minecraft and show you that it is installed. Alright guys, so I've opened up Minecraft and you can see Damage Indicator Mod 
version 2.6.8 is up to date and why don't we go ahead and test this thing out perfect timing it's night and i don't think is it gonna work on a sheep do you work no you don't work on sheep okay there we have it there yay creeper i have no arrows oh no oh i took you down a lot of hearts dang no 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 there we go oh this thing is working like a boss that's so cool oh man that's that's pretty much it guys there's nothing fancy going on here we just gotta take out all these mobs what why oh man my my bow isn't even working i'm oh, they're trying to pull it back and nothing's happening i'm testing this mod out real good now totally works so that's pretty much it for this video guys and it would be awesome if you could leave a rating because that always helps me out and i will see you in the next video and i hope you have a fantastic day peace out guys bye